It's your boy, the Athletes Mentor, a.k.a. the Dragon, a.k.a. the Testosterone King. And we got another testosterone video for you guys today. And this one is how working out can increase your testosterone. Hey, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button or we ain't gonna do nothing. Hey, you gonna hit the like button or what? All right, so if you guys haven't checked out my last testosterone video, go ahead and check that out now and you'll see how I was able to raise my testosterone levels over 100 nanograms per deciliter in a little over two months. So this is part two of that video and we're gonna go into detail of the type of workouts that I did to increase my testosterone levels and more. Let's get it. All right, so for my workouts, I focused on heavy compound lifts, such as the bench press, the squat, and the deadlift being the main. I also did anabolic work such as box hops, heavy sled pushes, cleans, and sprints. Those type of workouts shoot the testosterone levels up shortly after your workout. I did a lot of sprints, particularly uphill, and you wanna keep that under about 20 seconds or less for the duration of the sprint. I know a lot of y'all think 20 seconds is a long time. I'm sorry to inform you, it ain't. You should also be doing box hops and they need to be challenging so that you have to jump extremely high, almost to your max that you can reach. Heavy sled pushes are really great because they fire up the legs. When it comes to building testosterone, the legs are the key. So heavy squats, jumps, sled sprints are the key to building the maximum amount of testosterone during a workout. All right, so it's super important to note here that when you're working out and you're hitting those heavy weights that you're not in the gym for too long. You don't need to be in the gym for three, four hours a day. You know, make sure you're in the gym one, maximum two hours a day and that you're focusing on your recovery so that you can come back to the gym and become a straight beast the next time you work out. Also, comment below if you guys would like to see an in-depth recovery video done by yours truly. So I know a lot of you out there are like, hey Davion, what's the rep range? So for me, I like to keep it 12 reps and under with heavy weight, preferably even lower than that. And you can even go as low as one rep. So I would generally stay around the two to five rep range for my, most of my workouts. And I use those heavy compound lifts on the bench, squat, deadlift. Now, you do wanna also focus on auxiliary lifts, and those you can go a little bit in higher in the rep range because auxiliary lifts will help your compound lifts out, such as with the bench press. You need to be focusing on tricep extensions, dips, rolling tricep extensions, etc., so that those movements will help your overall bench press out later on, in turn, increasing your testosterone. All right, let me let you in on a little secret. All of my athletic training programs are not only designed to make you more anabolic and increase your testosterone, but just to turn you into an overall beast in general. Go check them out, link in the description. All right, now we're gonna discuss what type of workouts you should not be doing to increase your testosterone. And that's gonna be your long distance runs or any type of high duration activities, long distance swims, lifting weights for too long or too high repetitions, not enough rest period in between, those things can increase your cortisol levels, which in turn will lower your testosterone levels. A great example of athletes with higher testosterone levels versus lower testosterone level athletes are sprinters versus long distance runners. If you look at a sprinter, they pack on muscle easily. A lot of them are very strong and very explosive, and they have a little bit higher temperaments, as opposed to a longer distance runner who is a lot more skinnier, more calmer, more docile, type of athlete. So competing boosts your testosterone levels, particularly that ambition to win. It's scientifically proven that winning increases your testosterone levels more than any other thing. So go out there and kick some ass. Speaking of sports, some of the best workouts you can do are involved in the combat arts, such as boxing and MMA, particularly sparring. When I used to do MMA back in the day, my T levels were probably at an all time high after I was sparring. I noticed that my aggression was up and I noticed that uh, I was more easily irritated. Oh. Oh. 
And um, those are all signs of high testosterone as well. But it was also, it, it came most of the time after sparring matches. When it's you, one-on-one, -on -one, mano y mano versus another man in the ring, the level of endorphins, adrenaline, and testosterone that comes out and is produced by the body is unmatched by any other sport. But that doesn't mean that you can't get it from other sports as well. I love to play basketball and compete. That's one of my favorite hobbies to do because it's easy to, to go play a pickup game. You know, you can't always find somebody to spar unless you're at a sparring gym or some type of fighting gym. But uh, go out and compete in anything you do. So it could be finding some friends doing one-on-one -on -one in football, basketball, baseball, whatever it be, but go out and compete. All right, we got more videos coming, especially testosterone videos like this one here. I'm gonna take you guys on my journey to go over 1,000 nanograms per deciliter of testosterone. Right now, we just got done with the winter over here in the Chicagoland area. We're in the heart of spring, but it hasn't been much sunlight yet. So I know my T levels aren't as high as they were the last time I tested, but I'm on my journey, baby, and I will get over 1,000. Level, it's over 9,000. All right, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification button so we can grow this channel and you don't miss a video, especially when it comes to the testosterone, baby. You're going to need it. And always remember, train with the dragon.